Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate a simple and useful connector we have available in Power Automate, which automatically gets who is information for any input domain. You can, of course, source this information manually, but the advantage of using this connector in Power Automate is about efficiency. If you own multiple domains, this is a great way to manage information about them, and if you need to get in contact with a domain owner for any reason, pulling this information up will be a big help. You'll be able to save or share raw Whois data directly after sourcing it through this operation with no in-between steps. Let's dive right in. As usual, the first thing I'm going to do is set up an instant cloud flow to demonstrate this connector. I'm giving my flow a name, selecting the option to trigger it manually, and then heading to the flow diagram page as soon as I'm ready. From here, let's set up a manual trigger so we can easily test with different domains. I'm quickly including a text input here at the top, and that's all we need to do for now. Next, let's click New Step and search for Cloud Immersive Connectors. From the list of connectors below, let's click on the Data Validation Connector with the blue-gray logo. If it's your first time using this connector, you'll encounter the usual authentication window for Power Automate connectors instead of jumping straight to the actions list like I did, and you'll just need to add a free tier API key and name your connection before moving forward. If you don't have an API key, you can grab one by registering a free account on our website. Once we reach the actions list, let's type who is and select the right option below. All we need to do here is include the text input dynamic content from the manual trigger step, and then we're all done configuring our request. Now let's save and test. We haven't told Power Automate to send our incoming who is data anywhere, but that's fine for now because it'll be easier to show the results in the connector output after we run it. I'm using my company domain to test, so I'm typing cloudversive.com here, and then I'm running my flow directly after that. Once my flow finishes running, I'm clicking on the connector body here and reviewing the outputs. The first thing we get in response is a massive raw text record full of all the important information we want when we do a whois domain check. At the top here, we have the domain name, and below that, we now have extensive information about the domain registry, status, registrant contact information, administrator information, and much more. This list of information is exhaustive and will make it easy for you to get in contact with the domain owner of any website. Below that, we have a Boolean describing the domain validity, and finally, we have the name of the server used to look up this information in the first place. From here, you can easily store this information in a local document or send it to anyone via email. That's totally up to you. If you want to create a lightweight file for simple storage, start with the Create File step via the SharePoint connector and give your new file a TXT extension. With our test complete, we've reached the end of this video. If you found this product helpful, feel free to check out dozens of additional Cloudburst of Power Automate products on our channel.